So the Jehovah's Witnesses, the, the New World Translation, reflects, reflects their theology. Of course, we know that this is the minority opinion when it comes to Trinitarian perspectives. Let's look at a few different um, website resources to substantiate why their position is not to be accepted. This is from ChristianCourier.com. It's an article on this particular uh, theolo- translational issue from the uh, 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 Jehovah's Witnesses, and they've got a lot that they have here. I, I don't want to read all of it. I just want to jump down into the article, jump into the context, and notice the part that I've got highlighted in blue. Um, the Christian Courier says, the noun thaos is found some 1,343 times in the Greek New Testament. According to one scholar who has researched the matter considerably, in no fewer than 282 of these texts, theos is without the article. So that's what they're trying to alert us to right away. John is not the only person to leave the article out of in front of the word God. If the Watchtower contrived translation rule is valid, and their rule is that the reason that it's left out is because um, John is wanting to let us know that Jesus is not God, rather he is a God. He's a divine creature. He's a divine being. He's like God, but he's not really God. So their theology gets in the way. Uh, so if the Watchtower translation is valid, if it's if the rule is valid because that the missing the in front of Theos is valid, then we would expect to find the rendition of a god in each of these passages, right? These, uh, you know, thirteen hundred times here, more than thirteen hundred times, where Theos found without the article the. In other words, it just it doesn't say the god; it simply says God. So Watchtower wants us to believe that hey, you have to fill in a god, you have to put the indefinite article where the where the definite article is missing. But um, that isn't the case, this article says, in only 16 instances of the New World Translation, 6% of the total, do we find the rendition uh, uh, do we find the rendition as a god, god, gods, or godly? And so um, uh, this article here online, which is a tra- which is a Trinitarian um, perspective, says that even in the context of John 1, 1 through 18, where Theos is found without the article on six occasions, and we have the verses rendered there, it is only rendered as a God or God twice, once in verse 1 and then once in verse 18 in the New World Translation, meaning even the witnesses do not follow their own self-imposed rule. So they are inconsistent in their rule that, hey, if there's no definite article in front of the word God, Theos in the Greek, then we should translate it as a God, right? They're actually picking and choosing. They're cherry picking on which verses they want to render that. So um, that's something that should tell you uh, why their translation is not trustworthy, at least in this particular aspect of the, uh, the theology behind um, their, 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 their version here. Um, we can continue looking at this particular aspect of why we should better, it's better for us to trust the um, multitude of majority translations that are available on the Christian market today. Let's look at Dr. James White's explanation for this particular phenomenon on why John left out the the in, 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 in front of Theos. We'll just pick his article up here uh, from uh, AO. AOMIN.org, which is Alpha and Omega Ministries.org. And here's what he has to say. All right, this is an article that Dr. James White wrote. Of course, he's a Trinitarian, so here's what he has to say. The third clause of this verse has occasioned great debate and controversy, mainly due to the fact that the Greek word for God, Theos, does not have the definite article the before it. Right in the beginning was, I'm sorry, uh, and the word was God, it was God, and the word was God, or God was the word. Uh, why is the, not, why doesn't it say, and the God was the word? Some pseudo Christian or Aryan groups have said that this means that the word was a God, or God like being like angel, Jehovah's Witnesses, right? So he, he's aware of that. Most Christians are aware of how the Jehovah's Witnesses spin this verse. Dr. White continues, but is this the case? Other Christian scholars have put great weight into the idea that the term them, uh, I think there's a typo, I should say then, is being used as an adjective to describe the Logos, and that this is why John did not put the article there. In other words, if I scroll to the top of the page, uh, Dr. James White translates the verse, or he, he paraphrases the verse, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was Deity, with a capital D. Notice that. Thank you.